Hi, I'm Nick Nagurka from LiveX, and today we'll be unboxing the Younger Dual Stereo Level Magic Easy Loudness Processor. And uh, this is the SDI version. Uh, they make two versions. They make the S an SDI version and an audio over IP version, which primarily works with Dante and AES67 audio streams. So let's have a look in here. Comes nicely packaged here in a box within a box. And here we have it. So what I love about this processor is it's minimal design and uh, configurability that the, the end user has, but it is able to run nicely in the background. So what we have here is we have the Easy Loudness frame here. You can see from the top of you that you have status, power one, power two, it, it has dual power supplies and a bypass indicator. The rest of control is handled on the back of the unit. It comes with a nice little manual here, two IECs. Let's see if we've got anything else in here. That's it. So let's open up the unit itself. So, as you can see from the back here, you have your dual power supplies that are individually switched. Uh, you have a LAN port, a USB port for firmware upgrades. It has a nice little reset button uh, that is uh, easy to access, but not easy to bump. Uh, and then you have SDI in and SDI out for embedded audio processing. You have a 25 pin D sub for GPIO. Uh, you also have uh, sync in, which would be for reference or word clock, and then you have a word clock out in case you really did need to drive the rest of your system uh, off of the processor. You also have AES in and out uh, that can be assigned to either of the independent level magic circuits. And then you also have AES in and out on uh, 75 ohm coax here, which is quite nice, and then there are slots reserved for an, an additional AES circuit. Got nice vents on the side here that you can see. And uh, that pretty much comprises the unit itself. Uh, what, what else do we have in here? We have a nice little cut sheet. And you can look up the manual online. What I love about this processor, though, is that it, all the configuration is done via a web, uh, web interface. Uh, so you can configure two independent stereo level magic circuits, meaning you, can, you have two loudness process, processors on board in this device that you can control independently. So let's say you needed to level uh, your main program, but also needed to level uh, a bus of playback or EVS sources as well via AES. You can do that. It's very nice. You can set your standard. It's, you're not tied to... Uh, you know, an ITU standard. So for web streaming, it's, it's nicely configurable. You pretty much plug it in and it works, uh, which is kind of a rarity for uh, more advanced processors. You have a lot of finite control. You have multiple algorithms for each circuit. So you can have Younger's classic mode. You can have a universal mode, a live mode, which is a bit more aggressive and fast acting uh, than there are more traditional modes. You also have a music uh, uh, algorithm, which is quite nice for leveling uh, music. I believe it's intended more as a radio processor, uh, but it works really, really well for playback of music and of uh, playback devices such as an EVS system. A couple of other features that I really like about this device are it comes with 
these which will hold your IECs in place nicely, which is a common feature on European equipment that I wish more American equipment uh, would uh, incorporate. It's really nice just to know that your IECs are locking. Uh, I know Ameri America primarily loves power con for entertainment, but for those of us that do use IECs, this is really nice. Um, and I love that it lists its native IP out of the box in this little tag in the, on the back, uh, which is nice that you don't have to rely on a manual in order to access the device immediately. So that concludes our unboxing of the Younger Dual Stereo Level Magic Easy Loudness Processor. I'm Nick Nagurka from LiveX. You can follow us online at LiveX Production on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And uh, have yourself a great day. Take care.